Well, good afternoon or good morning, whatever it is, or good evening, whatever time you're watching this. Um, we're going to go over the uh, weekly highlights today. It's um, Saturday, April 13th. We'll start off with the good news. I had a loss because I tracked, tracked, tracked all week, and I had a good weekend last weekend, so I didn't have to play catch up. So I did lose 1.4 for my total loss of 67.2 which brings me back down to 237, uh, the lowest I've been since I joined Weight Watchers this last time on December 30th, 2016, was 227. And uh, I'm going to get back there, and I'm going to go right past that too, because I definitely am tired of not losing. I know that next Sunday is Easter, but uh, I'm going to be good. I really am. I'm going to be good this week. I know I am. It's a holy week, so I'll be extra special, extra special good. But uh, today's quote is, yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery. Today is a gift, that's why it's called the present. Uh, I always like that quote. I've heard that many, many times before. I really do like it. But um, first of all, we'll start with the card. It said, um, mindfulness is being aware of your thoughts, your feelings, your sensations in that very moment. Without judging them as good or bad, I know it sounds simple, and yet it can be so powerful. It really can. You know, how you think about yourself, how you think about your process of losing weight, your progress that you're making, um, your choices in life, whether they're food-related or exercise-related or just money-related, anything um, can lead to stress if you're not mindful of it and aware of it and really take the time to think about what you're doing in that very moment. Being more mindful can boost your well-being and your life satisfaction and lower your stress levels. I just read an article this week about stress, and it said that um, stress releases a hormone called cortisol, which increases your blood sugar, which you know your body, they always are craving sugar, and then the more sugar your body want, eats or absorbs, it wants more. It's, it is like a drug. It really, In my opinion, it's like a drug. And... You know, you're not going to go on the street corner and buy it, but it's it's a very addictive. Is sugar is very addictive. Being mindful can help you stay focused on your goals, your choices, and the changes you're making along your journey. And no, no, it doesn't necessarily have to be a Weight Watchers journey. Whatever works for you. I say that if you find a plan that works for you, whether it's Weight Watchers or Jenny Craig or Deal a Meal or <laughs> that's uh, Richard Simmons' old one. Um, what other ones are there? The weight loss clinic, you know, keto, vegetarian, vegan. I don't care what plan you're on. If it works for you, then that's the right plan for you. Don't let anybody tell you that, oh, you shouldn't do that, you should do this. If it's working, stick with it. Um, begin with a few minutes of practice at a time. What's a good way to start is to do a short meditation. Uh, they have a Weight Watchers app that you can use for that. Um, it's called Headspace. Most of them are just three minutes long, but I think they have one at night that's 10 minutes long to get you ready to go to bed. I made the mistake of um, last night before I went to bed, I was listening to a Les Miserables song, Master of the House. Oh, I love that song. And uh, I, I had it stuck in my brain, so even as I was laying in bed, I'm singing the lyrics. And then I'd roll over. And I thought, no, I, I have to stop this. I just have to stop. I never stopped. I finally fell asleep, but it was because my brain was on a loop. I, I should have meditated rather than listen to that song because it was really a good song. But anyway, um, you want to start with the basics, a meditation that helps you become more present in your mind and body, not a song. <laughs> It'll loop, at least for me. Um, when you're stressed, take a moment to pause. A lot of times that'll just help. If you just take a breathing moment, it'll help. And engage um, your senses when you're eating. Be aware. Smell your food. Look at your food. I like to make my food look happy. I make little faces on my plate for breakfast. I make the banana the smile, the egg the nose, my berries the eyes. I'm like a child at heart. I really am. I try to make my plates very colorful. Because if you look at anything like Master Chef or Top Chef or anything like on the Food Channel, they always make their food look pretty. And if you look at a food magazine, it looks pretty. And you want it to look, 
it's more appetizing if it looks pretty and then you smell it and then you taste it and then you really savor it. And then how many times do we sit down and we just eat, eat, eat and we, we're done and we didn't realize that we ate? Um, that's silly, it really is. I've been guilty of that many, many times. Uh, and when you're down, ready to wind down for the night, spend 10 minutes relaxing. Like I said, don't listen to music. <laughs> Unless that, you know, like, you know, I can't even say that because the one time I listened to the Nutcracker Suite before I went to bed and, and then I kept playing the music in my head. I just I have to wait till I'm really tired and then go to bed. But if I get to that point, which it says right here, focus on your breathing for one minute, paying attention to how your chest goes in and out. And then that'll help you. That'll help you out. It does. I should remember that last night because, anyway, I was watching the Graham Norton show and uh, Matt Lucas was on, and they showed a clip of him in Les Miserables in 2010 when they uh, put out the 25th anniversary CD, and he they showed a clip of him singing it, and that's what got in my mind. And then I I liked the song so much, I thought, oh yeah, I remember that song. I like that song. And then I uploaded it onto my iP phone so when I walk I have um not to get off track but that's just who I am I'm sorry I have on my phone um, a listing of uh, songs just called eclectic because they have no rhyme or reason it's just songs that I like it could be classical it could be rap it could be country because I do like some country not a lot but some country uh, musicals music themes from TV shows it's just an eclectic mix of songs you should look at my playlist sometimes because it's really astonishing. It really is. But anyway, uh, what you want to do is stop and smell the roses. Now, how many times have we heard that expression? Stop and smell the roses. The S is for you to see. See what's around you. Be aware. When you walk into a room, how many times did you, you go for a walk or something and, and you think, I'm home already? Or you drove somewhere. How did I get here? I don't remember driving. That happens to me a lot. Um, T is for time. Take the time to really enjoy your surroundings, meditate, enjoy who you're with, really live for that moment. Always for observe. I love when I go for my walk because now I'm observing. I, I see the little buds on the trees. I see the little flowers ready, you know, the greens of the bushes and stuff starting to come back to life. Some of the lawn looks like it's coming back. You see all the sprinkler system uh, people out there opening up the sprinkler systems and putting the fertilizers on the lawn. Um, and P is just be in the present. You can't change yesterday, and you don't know what's coming tomorrow. You can hope you know what's coming tomorrow, but you really don't know what's coming tomorrow. Anything can happen tomorrow. But right now, this present moment, you know exactly what's happening. You know if you're going to make a smart food choice or a bad food choice, a, a good financial move, a bad financial move, if you're living right now in the present. You you can learn from the past, but you can never change the past. You just can't. And sometimes living in the present, forgetting, the, remember, learning from the past, you can change your future. But for now, just think about what it is right now. Because your, your life goes in a 24-hour cycle. And you, you can plan what you're going to do for the next 24 hours. But that doesn't necessarily mean, you know, that it's going to happen but it's more likely to happen if you do have a plan that you've taken the time to be mindful about it, to really think about what you want to do for the next 24 hours. And, you know, really live in the moment because no one's guaranteed the next minute in your life. You're not guaranteed that. It's, uh, there was a comedian in England that was, um, yesterday that was doing a, his stand-up act on the stage. And I guess he's like a silly, I, I've never heard of him. But I guess he does like silly humor. And he had a heart attack on the stage. And people thought that was part of his act. And he died. And it was just, he didn't, I'm sure he didn't feel like, you know, when I go out and do this performance, it's going to be my last performance of my life. But he was doing something that he loved because all of the people that talked about him said how much he loved comedy. And, uh, and I think he was living for the moment. I really do. I don't know. I wasn't there. <laughs> but you just never know. And here and now is when you make your choice. You can't change the choices you made yesterday, but you can learn from the bad mistakes you made, or you can learn from the good choices that you made yesterday. I made good choices last weekend, and I had a 1.4 loss this week. It's because I made good choices last weekend. I do really well Monday through Friday. 
Saturday and Sunday are my downfall. I usually gain two or three pounds on Saturday and Sunday, and then I work like a dog to get them all off during the week. And this, this week I didn't do that. So I did have a loss. I've had a steady gain for weeks, and uh, I'm, I'm done. I'm just done with that. Stick a fork in me. I'm done. I'm, I'm not going to do that anymore. And if you live in the moment, you can, you can feel things more observantly. You can see things that you really didn't think you saw. Uh, you can learn things about yourself, and you can smell things. If you really think about it, in this moment, I'm going to smell like... I'm gonna have some of my lasagna for dinner and I'm gonna just like smell it beforehand because I love the smell of lasagna, I really do. But the key to staying healthy and happy is to always fight adversity. You're, you know, you're always gonna be tempted. I, had, I went to Kroger's today. I usually do my shopping on Wednesday but there was a lot of things that were on sale. My coupons were for Saturday, Friday and Saturday only. And um, I ended up buying $45 worth of stuff you know, whatever, things I needed. But I had $25 worth of coupons. So I saved $20. So that helped me to, to financially live in the moment. I could have bought all that stuff on Wednesday and thought, you know what, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to buy it now and get it over with. But you know what, because I thought at the time and really thought about what I wanted to do and really gave it some deep consideration. I went back today. I don't like going on Saturdays because it's really busy on Saturdays. Plus all the registers were down because they had a power surge. So I had to stand there because she was half done with my order. And I was probably in there an extra 15 minutes while we were waiting for the power to come back on. But you know what? I saved $25. That's all that really matters. Uh, you want to, with your stress, like I said, stress. My father died an early death be from a disease that was exasperated because of his stress of his job, of his life, of just different things. If he could have uh, alle alleviated his stress, I really do think he could have lived a little bit longer. Um, but it, it's a killer. It really is. And you, you just have to really take it seriously. But in the moment, try to stay grounded and connect with yourself and everyone around you. Um, you have so many friends and family members around you, so much support on, just in the YouTube community to help you reach your goals. And take the minute, take the, the half a second just to be grateful and thankful and be mindful, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. And you can't dwell on the good or not so good choices that you made yesterday. Um, you, you did it. Move on. You know, like you might have made a bad choice yesterday. Move on. You might have made a good choice and think, well, that'll carry me over till tomorrow. That's a good thing, too. But you can't change what's going to happen in the future. Somewhat you can. You can kind of, you know, like can prepare for it. Some things I should say you can't change, I guess. But for the most part, I mean, you can change that you're going to make better choices and uh, things like that. But if there's a death in the family, there's nothing you can change about that. But... Thing, things will be changed. If you're present on your journey to your healthy lifestyle changes, you're going you're gonna to do so much better. Uh, plan your meals. Make healthy choices. Make you're sure that you have portion control. Weigh and measure all of your stuff. Be more mindful of it. That helped me out this week. I was a lot more mindful of my measuring because I realized that uh, I was being a little bit generous on my measuring because I wasn't using my measuring cups or spoons or the scale. I was kind of eyeballing it. And uh, you can't, I can't do that. I have to be mindful of what's going on. And I have to be tuned in to what's going on in my life right now. And my life is going really well right now. It really is. And, uh, and I wanted to continue on that path. And so I'm going to be more mindful of it. When my mind waters, wanders, I have to redirect it. And that's what we have to do. <laughs> Getting back to the song, I should I tried so hard to redirect my mind. Sometimes it's just a little bit hard, but you can try it. You really can do it. Um, I eventually fell asleep, but when I woke up, the song was still in my mind. <laughs> so it's just like, okay, whatever. I, I'm like, um, I'm obsessive about things. I really am. I just, um, I'm like a dog with its bone. I just, you know, I will not let it go. And that can be good and that can be bad. In most cases, in my case, it's, it's not really good. But 
Like my, my thought of like, I, well, I can't do well on the weekends because I never do well on the weekends. I have this in my mindset and I'm more mindful of it now, at least for last weekend and this weekend. I'm very mindful of the fact that, you know, I can't have that attitude anymore. I have to be grateful for the fact that I've really realized that I can do this. I really, really can do this. What you want to do then is have a journal and you have a gratitude journal. Um, Write something down that you did mindful for the day. Uh, I tend to, I show you my journal, my food journal as I'm going through the day, but at the end of the journal, I, I have like a, just a personal journal that I don't share. And uh, I do write in there things that I was grateful for. You can always find at least one thing you're grateful for, at least one. Even if it's something as silly as, well, I was grateful that I, even though I tripped on that one little curb, I was able to keep my balance and not fall on my butt. Um, I tend to walk when I walk, I look down. I did a Facebook Live the other day and uh, I had fun doing it, I really did. But then I wasn't concentrating on where I was walking. And just after I turned off the Facebook Live, I tripped on the curb, not the curb, but a little, you know, raising the cement. And went, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but I, I was able to keep my balance. And so on my journal that day, I wrote grateful I didn't fall on my butt because I really don't know that I'd be able to get up. I can get up from the floor in that, but I know that in the back of my mind, I have the couch or the chairs to kind of pull up myself up. And if I can't, I don't know, I'd be crawling to the fire hydrant or something, trying to lift myself up or waiting till somebody comes by and says, oh, look at that poor woman. She's fallen and she can't get up. Remember that commercial? Anyway, um, so if you do a mindful review of your day, mindful of the moments uh, or some memorable event that happened to you. you know, not that every day you're going to have a memorial event, but we had two birthdays this week. Um, Gary's birthday was yesterday and Danny's birthday we celebrated on Thursday. His birthday is actually on next Thursday. But... Um, no, I was just so grateful that we were together as a family and sharing the birthday and just having fun. And this is the quote from Oprah Winfrey. Living in the moment means letting go of the past and not waiting for the future. It means living your life consciously, aware that each moment you breathe is a gift. I agree. I would add a gift from God. But unfortunately, I know that some people don't believe in God. I personally believe in God. So I do think that... Uh, Every moment that I breathe is a gift from God. And my life is a gift, and I don't want to squander it. I just, uh, I want to share it with as many people as I can, and I want to share the good times and the bad times. Um, I'm done with the bad times with all my weight gains. <laughs> so now I want to share my weight losses. But hopefully that'll help you to remember to um, tune into the present. Can't change yesterday. You can try to change tomorrow, but you can definitely change this very moment right now. So give this video a like. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, leave a comment, and share it if you think somebody might like it. So I will see you on my daily vlog. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't see me trying this recipe. As much as I like salads, this doesn't have any of the ingredients that I particularly like. But if you try it and you like it, let me know. It's a three-point salad. And then at the meeting, we talked about tuning into the present. So we'll go over. We went over this today. Maybe screenshot it and print it off and read it.